Hey, this is Martin from Abacus Whiskers, and I'm just going to show you how you can edit the timetable on our Google Sheets Digital Teacher Planner um, to make it fit your exact requirements. OK, so we've got our timetable in horizontal version and vertical version. And you can delete whichever one you don't want. Uh, let's look at our horizontal one first of all. You've got uh, days of the week across the top and we will have a Sunday to uh, Saturday version as well but this one's a Monday to Sunday uh, down the left hand side you can change these to whatever you want uh, maybe this is going to be 9 uh, to uh, 9.50 maybe this lesson 2 give them nine, uh, 5 minutes to get across campus to 10.45 and then they're going to start Monday with uh, history and then they're going to have uh, science in uh, the second lesson. So you can edit those as much as you want and you can change the size of the fonts, etc. as well. Um, some of you will not need Saturday and Sunday. So one thing you can do is hide those. So to hide, click on the first of the columns that you want to hide go to the, the furthest right or left that you want to hide, hold down shift and then click so all of them are highlighted. And then if you right click on your mouse and say hide, they will disappear. And as you can see that kind of moves that bit over and it keeps the formatting looking beautiful and you've got a timetable then just Monday to Friday or Sunday to uh, to Friday uh, to Thursday if, if that's how your uh, school works. Okay, um, I'm just going to undo that to bring those back. Um, you can add more lessons on the bottom if you want, but it's probably more likely that you're going to want to reduce the number of lessons that are there. Um, most schools, six or seven lessons. So let's say, well, let's take away those last four. Here, I'm not going to use the hide because if I do hide here, it's actually hidden uh, March, April, May, June uh, of the, the tabs on the left. So I'm going to keep seven and I'm going to select them all and then I'm going to do delete cells and I'm going to shift them up. OK, um, that's what shift them up does. Yeah, it's broken the formatting a little bit, but it has at least got you just exactly what you want and you can change that if you want. Um, let's just see what it would have done if we'd said shift uh, left. So select them all, right click, delete cells, uh, shift left. And that's what happens when you do that one. So you don't want to shift to the left, you want to shift up. Okay. Um, so that's the horizontal. Our vertical works exactly the same way. You can change all those, you can change the, the, the subjects, um, and you can add or take away uh, lessons. Here it's much easier to take away eight, nine, and 10. We don't need them. Um, I'm going to either uh, click and drag across or click in either the furthest left or the furthest right. Hold down shift. I'll select them all. Right click and then hide and they're gone. I've got a nice seven lesson uh, timetable there, which is exactly what I needed. OK, if you wanted to add more, you could do um, one way you could do it here. Uh, let's say we want to add on two more lessons. I can't imagine there's a chance there's many of you that will want to do that. But uh, so let's select uh, U at the top all the way to X holding shift. I'm then going to control C copy or edit and copy. And then I'm going to paste in here. Um, in fact, let's do insert right click and then insert four columns to the left or four columns to the right. And then I can copy and paste in those lessons and just change the numbering. Um, 11, 12. Okay, and there we've got now we've got 12 lesson timetable. That's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, let us know and we'll help you out.